We had uh, we had friends of ours invite us to one of the events um, to a Christmas uh, show and um, and uh, and also to graduation. Uh, and so it got us on campus and we got to see the events that were going on. And also we knew we were in trouble when we brought our kids uh, because they immediately fell in love and we were like, uh oh, <laughs> I think I think they've been captured <laughs> by <laughs> the CAG bug, so to speak. So <laughs> I, uh, I get to teach uh, government and economics. Um, I'm teaching uh, seniors this year. Um, so I'm getting to put some of my uh, teaching passion uh, to work. I also do a discipleship class for sixth and seventh grade boys, um, which has been interesting, uh, but it's also been a real blessing to get back in touch with, with uh, direct ministry to children. The heartbeat of the academy kind of rings with me. It's just that there is such a deep burden and passion for the, um, the staff and faculty for the children to be equipped uh, with the truth of the gospel, to live out their faith, to not be one of the statistics that, um, that are so prevalent there where children leave high school and then they also leave the church. Uh, there, there's a real true passion that, that, uh, that faith is real uh, for the children, for the young people. It really is true that uh, um, we all, as far, far as faculty and staff, feel like we're equipping the next generation um, for, for bearing the gospel into the world. And uh, one of the things I've been talking to my class about is just taking the gospel to their workplace, that they're not all going to be ministers, that they're able to take the gospel wherever they are and live it out. And so um, I believe that's one of the driving passions of what we're doing here is for um, young people to be equipped to carry a message of life and hope and, and a, a message that makes a difference in the world um, and able to carry it effectively into the world. Discipleship around here means um, uh, living out the message of Jesus Christ, of, uh, of understanding who He is and understanding that who He is to me. There's a real, um, a real drive for uh, the message to be internalized first and then for it to be able to be lived out from there. And so there is a lot of passion, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of drive for us um, and for the children to know that, uh, that they themselves are first loved and disciples of Jesus and that they can carry that wherever they are. Well, I know, I know it's been said, of course, of course, financial support and, and prayer, and uh, that's, those are some of the obvious. Um, involvement, I, I would really like to emphasize involvement and what I mean by that is dare to come to CAG and give of yourself. Um, dare to come on a one-year internship or, or a one-year student teaching or, or just a one-year worth of service. Um, dare to test God in that and, and come and be a part of what's going on. Um, it is so valuable to have uh, Christians who are passionate about Christian education to come and give of themselves. And so I would, I would really like to challenge people to uh, test God and to and to come and uh, and dare to plug into this place because it's it's a beautiful place I want to be used by the Lord uh, to maximum capacity and I want um, I want to know that my life was well spent loving him well and serving him well and also leaving a legacy of faith and hope in Jesus Christ and so that's why I'm doing what I'm doing wherever opportunity God opens I want to be all there and uh, that's one reason why we're here at CAG. We didn't intend to, uh, to teach. We thought maybe we could involve, be involved to help us actually practical level to reduce our tuition. And, uh, and the doors just opened for us to be able to do something like that. And so it's been a real rewarding blessing uh, to, to bless these kids and to equip them. Come, be, be a part of all that is, is going on. I just, I feel like I have to go back to that, you know, to, uh, to be involved and to dare, dare to build this ministry from, from your level. It might not be that you come here and give your, give your rest of your life to Christian education here in Guatemala, but it might mean that you are involved on a much more personal level. And so that's, that's what I would say, make the appeal. Uh, we're always struggling for faculty and staff, so why not? Why not come and, and be a part of that?